Hey guys, it's Tash here and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekend vlog. I feel like again, it's been a hot minute since I've done a vlog and I love vlogging over here on my channel and I hope you guys do enjoy them too. This weekend it's probably just going to be another chilled one. I don't really have too much planned but still might get up to some things which I just thought I'd bring you guys along with but nevertheless, even if it is just like a productive chilled one at home, hopefully you still enjoy. So if you are excited for this video then don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and if you are new here then please do come subscribe i would love to have you here so it is currently saturday morning first thing i did this morning was just get up get ready i kind of went a little bit more full glam today i mean not really but i just did a little bit more than i usually would just put on like a little bit of eyeshadow although i literally just put on the bronzer which i used on my face on my eyelids just feel like if you want a little bit extra whack on your bronzer on the eyelids and then just to make the eyes pop a bit more i put on like some brown eyeshadow underneath the eye kind of like acts as eyeliner kind of just feel like it makes the eyes pop a bit more when i've got a bit of a darker eye on especially with a nude lip as well quite like that combo so yeah went a little bit more full glam today and then just popped on a loungewear set but i just wanted to show you a little parcel which i received through from the brand i think it's called anna lucia that's what i'm gonna say i'll pop the instagram here on screen and they're basically a really cute jewelry company they do loads of different kind of jewelry of course i opted for the gold jewelry just because that's kind of like my vibe at the minute as you can see i've got these really cute little gold hoops in but i've been loving gold jewelry especially to kind of just like add to an outfit also what i love about this brand is already like i can tell from the packages and looking at the pieces that the quality is just insane the pieces are tarnish free which i feel like is such a must for gold jewelry like there's nothing worse than it's starting to tarnish and just like ended up looking a bit tacky also the pieces are actually pretty fairly priced they're quite affordable for good jewelry pieces the starting price for any piece is 39 dollars so i feel like that's quite a good range for a good piece of jewelry of course upper market pieces would be way more expensive so let's just get in and show you the pieces which i chose out so the first one is literally the little like pocket thing it came in how cute love any brand that puts in a little bit of extra touch into the packaging so this one is a gold pendant and i love this because it's got a little heart the padlock and then the key next to it how gorgeous is that absolutely love that one and then the other little pendant that i got is again this other gold kind of chain pendant with a bit bigger thicker heart on the bottom but i absolutely love this one too which one should i put on today i think i'm going to go for the bigger heart one this is absolutely gorgeous i'm going to put this one on today so i'm just going to pop this one on it's going to look so nice against the cream as well so let me just give you a little close up that is what the little heart pendant looks like how cute is that absolutely love it and also what i love about this brand they have a whole goal towards achieving a non-carbon footprint which i feel like is just so good for them to be promoting that kind of thing so i love the aspect that they're a sustainable brand so yeah i just chose out the two gold pieces because they're just really nice and dainty but also really pretty i love that kind of touch to any piece of jewelry and they had loads like that on the website and yeah like i said gold it's definitely a bit of me i just feel like they're really cute little girly pieces to just add a nice touch to so kind of like plain simple outfit like this oh so yeah there's definitely a bit of something for everyone on the website prices start from about 29 dollars and then go up depending on how luxury you want the piece to be but obviously if you do get a more expensive one that would be great for like a birthday gift or with christmas coming up great for that but yeah if you do have a look at the website and you do want to pick anything up i do actually have a discount code it is tasha g10 and this will get you 10 percent off your order i will leave the information here on screen also i will leave everything down in the description the information the website link and the discount code so definitely go and check out there if you do want to go and have a look so yeah i'm very very happy with the two necklaces i picked up that is just so adorable and yeah i'm definitely gonna wear this one for today so so cute but yeah so that is everything that i got from anna lucia so the other product which i just wanted to come and unbox to you and show to you was a new pair of shoes which i received through as well i'm so so excited to unbox and show you this one so pretty much a brand over on instagram called Monsonica. again i'll leave that instagram somewhere here on screen so you can also go check them out reached out to me to give me a pair of shoes of my choice that they kind of source in and or replicas which they make and my favorite shoe at the moment are like the dior kind of style converses i'm sure you guys all know i mean i've been obsessed with them and the fact that they reached out and wanted to send me over one of their replica pairs i was so here for because 
I'm obsessed and it was definitely something I couldn't not turn down. I think you guys will love too because if like me you're obsessed with them but kind of don't want to get the real ones and, and don't want to pay a fortune for them. I know sometimes designer pieces are just way too expensive and if you can get a good replica for a cheaper price I feel like why not. So here is the box that they came in. Again, what an insane box. Basically looks like the real deal. Really, really good, just like quality box as well. And love the fact it's got the Dior on it. Just feel like even that, just to put somewhere in your room, is nice to have. Looks a little bit luxe. So that is the box that they came in. It's a funny noise. Then opening up the package, it comes with this little thing which that she just tells you the item which you've picked up just kind of obviously like a gift receipt type thing then also a dust bag for the shoes which again has a dior on it looks like a really good replica as well but again just a really nice little extra touch which you probably would actually obviously get with the real shoes and just a nice way to store them if maybe you just put your shoes into a cupboard you can pop this into the dust bag to keep them a lot nicer then also came with this little or envelope which inside has this little B key ring and says Dior on it so I just thought even if you want to pop that as a key ring onto like your keys or something it's still quite like a nice little touch to get with and then onto the shoes so as I say I went for the Dior ones I really really have been obsessed with the white pair but the white pair that they did had the B logo on the front of the shoes and I wasn't really a fan of that so I decided to go for the black ones which oh my god I'm still as obsessed with and I just think are so so cool. So here's what the shoes look like. Obsessed and with them on they look so so cool with so many outfits but yeah the quality is just insane. So obviously as you probably know they kind of have that like mesh feel on the front where the Dior logo is. It has the Dior logo just there, and I have worn these, so excuse if they're a bit dirty, but they then have like the B on the sole as well, which the shoes do. So these are actually an insane replica. I'd love to have the real one and put it next to it and compare them because I think they are just such a good replica. Literally, genuinely just look like the real deal. Got the whole detail at the top, white laces. And as well, they're just a really good quality shoe. So I feel like obviously sometimes it can be a bit of a worry when you do get a replica, whether the quality is going to be a bit whack, whether they look really, really fake, but these ones are so, so good. And um, I've had a scroll through their Instagram and their website and they do so many other really good shoes, which I'm sure will also be really good replicas. I know they do a lot of the Jordans, which I nearly picked up a pair of those because I've been in love with those too. But yeah, this is how the shoes look. How cool are they? Maybe I'll just quickly put them on to show you what they look like on. But yeah, I'm literally obsessed with them. And just look how good they look. I think it's insane. Quality is unreal. And I'm very, very impressed with the whole package in general and my experience with the company. So I would definitely recommend you guys going to check them out if there are any shoes that you want to get. Maybe as a replica, save a little bit of coin. But yeah, definitely would recommend. So go have a look. Maybe pick up this pair or have a look what other pairs they have. But let me just show you a little try on. So here is what they look like on literally such a good fit they're really really true to size so my usual size is a size seven that is what i went for and they literally really good fit glad i didn't size up or size down stick true to size but yeah literally love the look of them on especially with just like a little chilled loungewear set like this i've just got on a cream loungewear set and they just complement the outfit so nicely i really really like them so there you can see excuse the wires in the background but yeah really really obsessed with them definitely going to be living in them and pairing them with every outfit they're just so so cute and let me recommend you going to check them out obsessed it was that time of the week again that i really needed another wardrobe clear out i feel like i'm clearing out my wardrobe so often at the minute but with that means i usually have some bits to add onto my depop so that's what i'm going to do this morning i'm going to take the pictures upload the new bits onto my depop so definitely go and check me out over there so you can go and have a look at the bits i'm selling usually selling quite a lot of like new bits new bits with tags really on trend bits and for good prices too so you may want to go and check out the bits i'm listing so i will pop the name here on screen and also the name down in the description so yeah definitely go and have a look just in case there's some bits you want but that is what i'm going to do this morning so yeah probably just pop your little time lapse whilst i sort through those bits <laughs>
my sister and we've just decided to go out for some brunch. We originally kind of wanted to get some breakfast but getting up and getting ready it's kind of become more of a brunch now. It's about half 11 and we're going to go to a place we've never been before actually. So I'm just with my sister Victoria. Say hey. Hey. And we're just driving there now. We're actually in her new car. It's the first time I've been in her new car and it is so nice. So, like I said, first time I've been in it and I've even got the heated seats on. That is probably like the best bit. It's like warming up from the bottom. So good as well for like the cold, colder weather coming. So nice to have the heated seats. Have you got yours on too? Yeah, it is really nice and just really spacious. And are you liking it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So it's so good as well with the... Um, like the touch screen as well is so cool but yeah really really like it so we're just on our way for some brunch so probably put the camera up when we get there let you know what we're gonna have but we're so so hungry so I'm super excited to go and get something to eat So we just got here, like I said, we come out for brunch, we come to this place called Establo Lounge. Just have a look at the menu, it looks so good, we literally cannot decide what to get because so many things sound good. What kind of thing are you thinking of going for? Well, I'm thinking for? to go for a breakfast, even though it's 12 o'clock, but mm. yeah. Or I'm feeling like the marina wrap, I think, but yeah, there's so many good things on the menu. So food is calm and it looks so so good. I went for a burrito and it's got like buttermilk chicken in it, some coleslaw, then some fries, and then Victoria went for what panini was that actually? Um, chicken, twisted chicken. Oh, club, club like chicken as well. buttermilk yeah. chicken, cheese, the sweet potato fries, a latte, and I also got this um, homemade pink lemonade, which is also so so nice. Yeah. So I'm super excited for this. Mm. This pink lemonade is so good, but yeah, we're just gonna tuck in because we're so hungry and it looks so nice. But the place is really, really cute. now the next day i think the last clip you would have seen i was just having like a chilled out evening watching a little bit of ellie darby whilst tidying my room making it cozy popping on some candles and i just chilled out and edited in bed and now i have just popped on some gym clothes this gym set is literally just like some leggings from primark i love the primark gym wear leggings they're really really good quality i feel like the fit's really nice and then i've just shoved on black primark gym t-shirt and this jacket which is from Boohoo. And pretty much I'm going to pop to the gym in a little while. Would bring you guys along, but it's always way too hard to get any kind of like footage in. So before I do that, I'm just going to have a little bit of a tidy up of my room. Just got a little bit messy again. So we'll just tidy up a few bits. Also, I might just have a quick clear out of my makeup. So maybe I'll just show you a quick little bit of like my makeup vanity station, makeup collection kind of thing. And then I'm going to get a bit of lunch. I also need to package up a couple of Depop parcels, which I'll be popping to the post office. But yeah, pretty much that is it. Keeping productive. Just thought I'd update you a little bit from what else I've been getting up to. <laughs> so as i said i'm just gonna have a little bit of a kind of like declutter of my makeup and just sort this area out um i basically got a couple of new products to add in so i just got a restock of my favorite primark foundation this is literally five pounds it's meant to be a dupe for the estee lauder double wear which i've never tried so it can't compare them but it definitely is a really really good full coverage foundation so if you are into like full coverage kind of looks and i get mine in the shade cool sand but yeah i really really like that one it is a matte foundation but i definitely feel like it still brings through such a nice glow so that is so good from primark 
what else did I get? I also got a new pair of GWA lashes. Again, these are only three pounds from Primark. These are the Fantasy Mermaid ones. I used to have such insane pairs that I used to be obsessed with for GWA, but I can never remember what the style is. I'm just praying I never can tell until I put them on whether I like them or not. So I'm just praying I like these ones on. Also got this Prep and Perfect face mask it's meant to be hydrating priming sheet mask this was also from primark and was only 80p i feel like soon i want to film a morning routine and i think this mask is going to be really good to put on before you do your makeup as it is a priming sheet mask so i think i'm going to save that for that but that should be good and yeah like i said i just feel like there's quite a few products in my makeup drawer that recently have kind of like run out and i need to just go through and declutter so this is kind of what we're working with over here we kind of got brushes i've also got more brushes up there just kind of like everyday products here's like foundations concealers as i say i've got quite a few and i definitely know some have run out then we've just got kind of like miscellaneous bits perfumes in there that's definitely meant to be over there some more lashes i love the kiss lashes as well these are like eyeshadows eye pigments bronzers highlights and then literally like so many eyelash glues i just pretty much collect those but yeah i'm just gonna quickly have a little declutter and sort this out <laughs> just like i said had a little bit of reorganized i need to do this properly and literally take everything out and really like clean the drawers if you'd be interested in seeing like another full-on declutter and maybe like a full makeup collection let me know i don't know whether that is like really old school youtube and you wouldn't be interested but yeah so here is the products i've kind of decluttered them wipes no i just got rid of a couple of boxes products that were empty sponges which are definitely way too old and grubby some old nails that products that i'm just never going to use an old mascara and an old bronze are so feel better for decluttering that and then putting in my new bits so that is the declutter so that was everything for me today guys and a little weekend vlog i'm aware it probably wasn't the most interesting or funnest vlog it was just something a little bit chilled it was mostly just to come on and show you a little bit of blogger mail do an unboxing of the shoes which i was so excited to show you and of course as well the jewelry from Anna Lucia. so i hope you enjoyed seeing those bits and maybe it gave you some inspo for some presents for christmas coming up or just items you might want to treat yourself with but yeah nevertheless with it being a chilled vlog i hope you guys did enjoy next week Weekend, me and my boyfriend are planning to celebrate our two year anniversary so whatever we get up to i'll probably vlog that and that'll probably be more of a interesting vlog with us out and about doing things so keep your eyes peeled for that but if you did enjoy then please do hit the thumbs up button that means so much and really helps my channel and if you are new here then definitely come subscribe i would love to have you here and again it's a huge thank you from me i can't wait to see you guys soon with a brand new video